That looks <laughs> so good. Oh, wow. Wow. Am I gonna open this beer with a puppy on my lap? Very Challenge good. accepted. <laughs> Chug it! Don't Just it! We're definitely showing this on the YouTube clip. Amber is roasting beer. Alcohol beer. But it's a quartz light, so it's okay. It's, it's just water. water. I think your dog likes it. Well, your dog Oh, great. That's not poison. <laughs> Welcome to Real Estate Update. Did you know? <laughs> Ooh, messy change. Clash, clash. <laughs> clash, clash. All right. This is episode 14, Defining My Home. I thought we were into, like, episode 27 by To now. the windows. To, to the, the doors. doors. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh doors. 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 Oh, we're not talking about walls. Mm -hmm. Okay, not yet. Walls have to be straight. There you go. That's your PSA on walls. Yes. <laughs> and your corners should be square. <laughs> Unless they're not. Unless it's a bull nose. True. True oh, that. Cool. Yeah, All right. For another day. Words. Okay, so we're we? Diamond Realty Associates. I'm, I'm Trace. I'm Erin. I'm Dawn. I'm Amber. And this is Dwight. He's cute. And we are actually recording a YouTube Ooh. segment, so you'll get to see mm -hmm. how crazy these All podcasts are. actually go. What we're actually doing. All right. First time for everything. Absolutely. We try everything. Mm -hmm. Do we say we're Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties? No, we didn't, but you dished it, so mm -hmm. good job. Mm -hmm. Our disclaimer is done. All right, I didn't update that. We're not talking about foundations. We're talking about do windows oh, and geez. doors. Windows we're, and doors. We're it's all about, about windows and doors. Yep, we'll talk about buyers and brews, and then we're going to go over Tasty Tuesday. We have a couple winners. Mm -hmm. And we had a door and window dude here yeah, on Monday. completely educating us. Yeah. Three. <laughs> I always want to say Teresi because that's how my auto fill does it. Trace um, and Don went to the and the thingy lunch and learn. Yes, lunch, lunch and, and learn. learn. So Amber, and, it'll literally just be Amber and I asking questions because we don't know a lot about the subject. Bring it on. We're so excited. Quiz right time. Now. We All right. are. So window, and we're not going to talk about like the shapes of windows or anything like that. We're talking about like the actual structure of windows um, and what's involved with what they're that. made out of. Right. Like we talked about, um, like you asked him, wood. Mm -hmm. What's so great about wood? Well, wood is the most expensive, but mm -hmm. it's probably got the most upkeep too. But it has the best look. It has the best look. So we have wood, vinyl, and fiberglass with the three main um, material for our windows. And so that'll be like what the windows are cased in yes. and then the outside, like up against the siding so what does it look like right so the window window is not fiberglass yeah that's the actual glass window okay the case the case the casing. what's the most common that we see around here vinyl 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 is the cheapest um mm -hmm. it is it's easier to put in yep. yeah you can't paint vinyl though so there's a lot of upkeep in that aspect where if you want to paint it nothing sticks to vinyl um fiberglass is more expensive but it's definitely it holds up longer and whole fiberglass is that color you pick. So if you want white, if you want brown, through and through, like the fiberglass is made out of that color. But you can paint it too. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can't do it with vinyl, right? Is right. that right? Yeah, because vinyl is white all the way through. You know what I have is I have notes. We do. We did paint and iron. We were to actually, sit here and look pretty. Cheers. Cheers. We were paying attention. No, um, we were. More so for myself because I do have to replace a couple windows <laughs> in my house. And so I think. I might have him come out and give us a quote the fiberglass window and show him. And <laughs> the only reason I asked so many questions is because my brother does windows and he was giving me like a whole spiel about, I don't know why they're doing wood. It's, you know, not as good as fiberglass. And he's going on about how fiberglass was cheaper, which is why I asked the guy because I don't believe anything my brother says. <laughs> and he, <laughs> <laughs> I hope he, he was kind of right. <laughs> okay, so we have fiberglass. What else is good about fiberglass and vinyl done? Well, vinyl obviously is going to be less expensive. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to re be required to paint. You're not going. It's not going to fade Ooh, in I sunlight. Oh, um, it does. Dang it! You just said it does not fade in sunlight. <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> um, it it, it, it what? Go ahead. It, it, it lasts up to thirty years. Right. That's vinyl. Vinyl. Never yes, heard. that one. Okay. Vinyl. We have um, stuff on the screen behind you. I don't know where we're looking. Yes. Is, but I would presume that vinyl and fiberglass, or maybe one or the other, you guys tell me which one, but would be more resistant to like growth, like expanding and contracting, mm -hmm. heat, and yeah, cold. No, like um, mm -hmm. like microbial I hate to say the M word. Moist. Well, technically, the windows yeah, aren't the reason that you're. you the windows aren't the problem for moisture buildup. It's actually the humidity of the house. What is the perfect humidity point? 
Aaron, pop quiz. 33. 2% is under 40. Yeah, we did. 32% is the um, optimal. optimal humidity point for your house. So in our area, we have a lot of fluctuation, especially with winter and then our summers. Um, it is very difficult for us to maintain that humidity. So new builds and in the winter especially, we're going to see a lot of that build up. It keeps trying to auto -focus. In the panes, like that condensation or that fogginess, um, that's coming from our humidity or broken seals in our panes. So the best way to keep the humidity normal in your home is either a dehumidifier or an air exchanger, correct? Stop breathing. And stop breathing. Yeah, and yeah stop breathing. Oh. Don't have children and pets. Don't shower. Just quit yeah. showering. Um, just don't live in your house. Keep, Maybe you should have a shower your, outside. Keeping your windows open, like your, your shades open, is helpful. And just making sure you're wiping that down if you do have that condensation or that humidity. Um, to keep, especially if it's wood, to keep those clean. Mm -hmm. But the fiberglass is going to expand and contract a little bit better with the heat and cold. One thing he did tell us is, okay, let's say we have a wood frame, but then we double it up with aluminum on the outside or whatever. Um, anytime we have two different materials, they're not expanding, contracting at the same rate. Mm -hmm. You should you're, stop moving your hands. The thing is auto. You're going correct. Auto is still now. You're going to have a seal breakage at some point. Yeah. It doesn't matter how high quality with those two different contracting two materials contracting and expanding. But really, how bad is a breakage in a seal? Um, I mean. It's going to happen. That's the it's whole thing. Happen. It's not like it, the window is at fault or anything. It's just that they can't last <laughs> so super honest. long. And you're, we have such humi um, different fluctuations in weather, like m Mother Nature is bipolar all the time. So on average, did they give any ideas on what it costs to have a seal replaced, like to fix that? To replace those windows? Okay, mm -hmm. so he said the two pane is basically, well, I mean, I don't know. He didn't give us exact numbers, obviously. Um, the two pane is the most common it's that three pane that's going to prevent that seal breakage you're going to oh. not get and then everybody thinks you get those three panes you're going to get less noise that's not actually true there's more vibrations going on science and stuff in there <laughs> science um, lots of science he gave us lots of science yeah Sorry. but those double panes if you have two different thicknesses of those two panes in there that's actually going to reduce the noise quite a bit more Triple pane is what, like 5% more on average yep. than getting a double pane? Yep. But you're going to prevent those seals. And with the seals, you're getting, you know, like that cool air, you're losing heat, that sort of thing, that exchange. Um, but he was saying older houses actually have a lower humidity point because mm -hmm. of those leaks. Yeah. Oh. That that cold air gets to exchange throughout the house. Oh. So as soon as you put new windows mm -hmm. in, yep, suddenly you get that buildup and that condensation. And that's why a lot of people who have a brand new house after three years have to end up replacing their windows. Nothing's breathing, so they're getting that moisture built up. Is that where the, the dehumidifier yeah. really yeah. Yeah. comes in? Especially that first, first year. Yeah. And they tell you to run that dehumidifier year-round in a brand yeah. new house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our house so. is four years old and we still run it. Yeah. And it's still pulling. We have, to, we have to empty it almost every day with the summer. Because yeah. the wood is still drying, the drywall, everything is still drying inside that house. So. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It was interesting. Um, and the other thing with, that's neat to know is obviously they with the fiberglass, they can do some of the wood grain. Oh, so yeah. it does look like wood. It's not wood, but it's gonna, it can take on that look of wood. So. Fiberglass has come so far as far as looking mm -hmm. like wood. If you want that wood texture and look, you can do that with fiberglass. So he has, like, there are people who have, like, those old houses, you know, like, they're classic. People want to keep it as true as possible. They're going to just do the wood, and they're going to do that maintenance. That's just what it is. Um, but if you don't have to go that route, if you can go fiberglass, you can still get that wood look without the maintenance, and you're going to have that longevity with it, too. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks like it's a little bit more expensive to fiberglass, but yeah. it lasts much longer. Yeah, about 15 percent more. So in the long run, you think it'd average out when you don't have to keep doing repairs or repainting or fixing or whatever. If you just stick with that kind of more fiberglass option unless you're super dedicated to wood do we know if fiberglass is more energy efficient too yes. would it make up that mm -hmm. way because yeah. your heating yeah. bills especially in our area and our cooling bills with the humidity and everything but does wood, it better insulating frame for energy and noise mm -hmm. but wood is actually really good as far as efficiency because mm -hmm. if you feel the wood don't pee dwight <laughs> you feel the wood don't like, pee on the podcast on a, cold, <laughs> on a cold day you're not feeling that transfer yeah, heat or cold. Think about it. Um, so wood is actually very energy efficient. 
And I grew up in a house with wood, and I know stuff's changed over the course of whatever, but I just remember the mold. Being so, oh, there mm -hmm. was mold on like all the window ledges, mm -hmm. and maybe it was the house. But you're right. A lot of the ones I've toured that are that age with the wood, still, it's just it's. And I think it's mean. It's too just uneducation. People feel like when they're in a new house or something like that that. People just don't think about the humidity. Not keeping the humidity at a, at a good level. Right, and just like the up and down of our temperature, especially one day we could be super hot and then 70. it can drop so quickly once the sun goes down. Um, so we want our windows to keep up with that fluctuation too. So how do listeners know if they have a window with a broken seal? What should they look for? Those, that fogginess. That fogginess. Yeah, that comes um, in between. That's because what's side. in between, Chase? <laughs> Argon. What's the guess? Argon. Argon. Is it argon? I guess yeah. when I well, said that's what you said last night. I, I said know. it. Like I knew what I was talking about. My dog is attacking the mirror. <laughs> and it's super cute. And it's what funny. is what is dog? What is dog, Dwight? What is dog? He's like yeah, just looking know. at me. He's trying to bite his own face off. Is <laughs> that a friend of the mirror? Yes. So if you have broken seals, um, like we said, it's not a thing you have to replace overnight, but it will help the my dog is distracting me. It will help the efficiency over time. But if like you're purchasing a house, I would say maybe go for the shingles being replaced over like a house uh, or a window that oh, has a broken But seal. that's a really good point too. Okay, so as far as doors, because we're having windows and doors, doors are going to be the same mm -hmm. material. Those are the same options. If you want a wood door, but you want that heaviness and that efficiency, you can go fiberglass and get that wood look. Um, but do you know what the biggest return on investment is? If it were replacing the door or windows or kitchen or bathroom, what is what did you say the highest return on investment was? Ninety two percent. Getting ninety two percent getting that front door replaced. Really? Really? That was the highest. Because yeah. you think of how many times you go in and out and it doesn't seal all the way. Correctly right. yeah. the the draft. Yeah. I'm noticing drafts with mine already. Yeah. And he's also saying screen doors aren't as necessary with the quality of our doors, storm doors. Oh. Um, as they've been in the past because one they were to help seal but now our doors are so heavy and they're so high quality that we don't necessarily need that extra door to seal I mean holding the snow off is nice um, but we used to have that storm door to like protect the wind air or get an airflow or you know something like that and we don't necessarily need that like we used to no. so storm doors he said aren't really relevant as much as they I mean Right. And chances are, in the winter, it's going to get ripped off anyway with our wind. So <laughs> we've had so many listings or people buying listings where the storm door has been damaged and it's had to be replaced. Right. Or the um, hinges. The hinges cracked because of the storm door. Because the yeah. wind is taking it off. So just get a decent front door. Yeah. Prairie equals wind. Mm -hmm. True. Non-stop wind. Non-stop. Non yeah. Non-stop. But yeah. I'm just looking through the I am. brochure right now. What, what did you find, Don? Oh, what is, hey, what did he say the trend is right now? Were you listening? As far as doors or windows? She wasn't there. I forgot she came in late. Windows. No, I'm there. Oh, you were late. The for trend? I was late. What is the trend, Trace? The trend is wide, dark windows. Yeah. Oh. Like in restaurants. Yeah. Like, he did this lake home. Yeah. And um, they did amazing windows on it. And it's just. Three season porridge. It's beautiful. Oh, this one. And it looks like from yeah. the outside, it looks very commercial. Oh, this one here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's really cool. And we bring um, it in. Yeah, absolutely. Bring it in. But if you're at the lake and you think, oh, I need more different windows or oh, I like need, you know, like the windows on the lake cabin we sold last year were pretty, you could feel the wind. And I think with something like that, you probably a higher Especially quality. Like three season four, three, three season. Be out there yeah. so much. Why not spend the money on it? Absolutely. You're gonna get more enjoyment out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so oh. he's saying that darker look with the wider windows is something he's really seeing come come out this area. How about for for doors color? Yeah. On the, for the front door? People are painting them. Um in the fiberglass you can order them in different colors. And then that was that was kind of a neat thing because you can decide you wanna orange. One of my sellers, their must have in their build is a bright door whether it's like bright blue or yellow yep. or something to make it pop yep mm -hmm. yep that's yellow, like a must for yellow her. with like a blue siding looks really nice and pops yeah yeah yep. yeah. yep. or a gray or gray mm -hmm. with white trim mm -hmm. oh, so cute. so that's something to keep in mind too just painting that front door or making updating that first impression is is yep. one of the investments that curve appeal yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Curve because appeal will sell a house that's what people are looking at when they go in that mm -hmm. sets the tone for when they walk into your home yeah i would say even just Brightening that front door and then putting two flower beds right on mm -hmm. by the stairs would yeah. do a ton. Yeah, yeah. just making yes. it inviting. 
and it's super cheap to do. Yeah, absolutely. Painting it or flower beds? The flower beds. Mine will die right away. <laughs> Not good. Not good with plants. I have a black thumb. No, you don't want High five. I bought my flowers on clearance this year, so. Succulents? Are they alive? They, die? they are still alive. <sighs> I don't, I don't want to chase week. you. I it's only been a week. You. Okay. It's only been a week. Just in case. Want to be nothing? Residual life. I literally could have not watered them and they'd still be alive. Like, they haven't had a chance to die. Mine died in less than a week. So are we talking about just outside doors? Are we talking about doors inside the house and what we're seeing? Hollow core. Don't know anything about that. Solid versus hollow. Well, what he was saying too is getting that thicker, heavier door for well for the front door isn't that much more expensive. Right. Because um, if you think about putting in something inexpensive right now, what are you losing every time you open that door? That it's not sealing right, that type of thing. So, you know, spent investing in that front door. That heavier door with the four mm -hmm. hinges instead of two, he said, or something. Yeah. Else. Well, and I would think, too, um, investing in a decent door for your garage if your garage is not insulated, because mm -hmm. a lot of the cold air can come in that way, too. Yeah. Absolutely. That's and even your door from your garage to your house. To your, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know just from showing a lot of, like, new build versus existing homes for the interior doors the hollow versus the heavy doors mm -hmm. and how much that actually oh we have a post it <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh oh man I'm not well we'll awesome. go ahead and do it now that's hilarious we got to keep you listening um our winners where were we where are we? Where? menu <laughs> so porter creek and um, everybody got it everybody got it huge Bethany. shout out Bethany Waters and Wayland. Wayland Those Zeman. are two of my people. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Uh, and huge shout out to Porter Creek and Chris Poor. Thank, thank you so you. much for two gift cards for $25. That was super generous. And that was fun. And it was a perfect super day fun. to be on the oh, patio. Great patio. Yeah. Go out this weekend because it's going to be hot. Yeah. It's yeah. a good time to be out. Okay, what were we talking about? I was just time? saying that where you would be for buying a new house if you're building it costs a lot of money to get those solid heavy doors in you would be surprised at what that adds up to and then if you look at existing it's just you notice it more and that there's a lot of money in that mm -hmm. yeah so Absolutely. keep that in mind when you're looking at houses hollow versus those solid doors and that's true and some of the hollow doors can stand the test of time as long as people take care of them yeah but it's just what do you want? It seems like you see more scratches on hollow than you do. Longing. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, done it this yes, time. <laughs> She's got them new eyelashes on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need to do? Right? Anyway, the Snapchat what? filter. Oh my! Oh yeah. It needs to be a thing. The pretty filter. No, the big <laughs> lips. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you do four people with big lips? Snapchat needs to make that for us. Snapchat, Snapchat if you're listening. <laughs> here you go. Okay, that you was heard it here first. Tuesday. Um, so anyway, yeah. So about doors. I think that's kind of. I think yeah. Right. We're done. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. We're fine. We're so done. of course we're gonna plug our buyers and brewers next Thursday, August sixteenth. Doors right. open at six thirty. Six. Six, six, six to six thirty. Check yeah. our Facebook. This sounds hour. We, we will be grilling food? hot dogs and hamburgers. Our very own Andy Larson, our very favorite inspector, will be grilling in the parking lot because it's, well, hopefully it's, it's still the same.